Chief Meteorologist Brian Davis and your Storm Team 2 forecast. And our forecast looks like this this evening. Uh, temperatures in the 40s out there uh, will drop off maybe a couple of degrees early on. Then we'll level off anything. Temperatures start to rise again later this evening and overnight as some milder air tries to come in from the south. But we'll mostly stay in the mid and upper 40s tonight. 50 degrees, 8 o'clock. Later tonight, after 3, 4 in the morning, a chance of some showers. A chance in the morning, maybe a little break in the action at noon. Another chance of showers later in the day. Our weather headlines tonight clouds moving in, late night showers on the way. Showers around Friday with low to mid 50s, well above normal temperatures, but not for long. Colder air starts to spill into the region on Saturday. Rain changing over to snow before ending Saturday, more than likely late morning, early afternoon. And right now, it looks like an inch or less of accumulation. That'd be kind of some wet, slushy snow. But at least tomorrow, looking for those high temperatures to hit the mid 50s around our area. But Saturday, a morning high of 38 with temperatures holding steady or falling from there as we see that transition. We still have that Arctic cold. Some of it up around Quebec and extending back northward in the Canadian prairies up around Lake Winnipeg. And that cold air is going to be pushing southward here. Already some of it into the northern part of the country tonight, but it will continue to head southward over the weekend. So that cold air will work on down into the Ohio River Valley, into the Great Lakes. And you can really see the core of that cold air uh, spreading across Lake Superior, Michigan, the northern Plain states, and into the northeastern part of the country for the day after Christmas. And we'll be in that uh, cold air, too, in the throws of that cold air going into next week. Duncan Oil Company camera tonight. You are looking at traffic on I-75 and live Doppler 2 HD. It is completely dry out there this evening. No precipitation around our area. Uh, some snow to the north of us as you go into the upper Great Lakes. But here's this warm front pushing northward. That's why we'll see those temperatures get up into the 50s tomorrow. Right now, 43 in Dayton, but uh, we won't stay there for very long. East wind at 8 miles per hour. Wind chill factor 38. Our weather checkers tonight you can see mid 40s north, Scott B. Secker and Bradford at 45 degrees. But our weather checker south of town around 50, Barbara Richards in Kettering and Hope Qualky and uh, Anna uh, Zeilhammer in uh, Germantown looking at that temperature in the low 50s tonight. We have a warm front pushing northward. Notice the showers breaking out here, especially after midnight. And some of that rain will be around the area as we go through the day tomorrow. Showers expected into tomorrow night, too. And then the colder air starts to work in on Saturday and right at the tail end. In. There's some of that blue showing up, and that could be some snow at the end of that precipitation, but then we'll dry out for Saturday night. Your forecast cloudy skies, some late night showers on the way, a low of 45 degrees, and tomorrow cloudy and cool with a few showers in the area and that high temperature hitting 54. Your hour by hour forecast 51 at 10 o'clock, low 50s at noon, and 53 at 2 p.m. down to 50. At 6 o'clock, we'll have that chance of showers early day and again late day. Saturday's high, uh, 38, that'll be in the morning, as I mentioned, falling temperatures with that rain transitioning briefly to snow. There will be a chance of some snow Christmas Eve, 27 the high, and into Sunday night, too. There could be enough snow on the ground to make it a white Christmas. We need an inch. It could happen. 26 and 12 on Christmas Day, and then slight chances of snow Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. But you can see that cold air, 20s and teens next week. A lot of people have their fingers crossed for that white Christmas. Yeah, and it may not be too much, so that's the way we want it, just a little bit. All right. <laughs> Thank you.